Listen, if there's anything I know about hockey, it's that you simply can't have enough Swedish guys named William on your team. No. <laughs> if I know anything about hockey, you can never have enough noted Alan Walsh client. <laughs> William Legison has joined the Toronto Maple Leafs. We'll tell you about him in a second. But first, the video is brought to you by Sports Interaction. Get in on the action like the Leafs finally have uh, <laughs> with William Legison. You go to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN 19 plus. Please play responsibly. And of course, William Legison, who is, uh, you know, been, he was an Edmonton draft pick in 2014, started playing for the team in 1920. A little bit of weird development there because of the, the COVID thing. But um, he uh, most recently played a few games in Montreal last year at the NHL level. And I can tell you this. Um, who was the head coach in Edmonton before their current head coach? Uh, oh, no. He's on the Kings now. McClellan? Todd McClellan? No, not Todd McClellan. After Todd McClellan. But before Jay Woodcroft. Oh, no. I can picture him. Yeah, he was, he was, he was the Coyotes head coach. I can't, I can't remember his name either. Oh, what? <laughs> what are we doing here, guys? Oilers head coaches history. Why do I keep... Tip it? I, huh? Tip it? Dave Tip it. I thought so, you were doing trivia. No, I wasn't. I, I was just hoping somebody would know. Dave Tippett uh, was the first guy to sort of play him. And uh, William Legison flourished under Jay Woodcroft in the AHL level. Like, absolutely uh, had a great time. But the way Tippett wanted things done at Edmonton didn't work out. Um, and, you know, when you sign a guy like William Legison, 6'2", you probably, a lot of people probably are not familiar with him. Uh, he's a guy that, um, I what? would expect is going to be depth on this team. Why hasn't if, he been on Agent Provocateur? That's a good question. Why hasn't he been on Agent Provocateur? We you, you run the show there. He is going to be. Um, he is going to be depth on the Leafs. But there's a guy there that you know. Throughout the season, you need bodies, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, and the Leafs need bodies. Like this signing is actually more important to the Leafs than I think most realize. Um, and you know, that's not me going for one of Allen's guys. Here's here's the long and short of it. Riley Brody, McCabe, Lilligren, Giordano, Timmons. Mm -hmm. So Brad Treliving has already been open about wanting to rework that decor. Let's say that's the decor they go into the season with. Who are their three? They only have three non-roster forwards signed to NHL contracts. This is from capfriendly.com. They have three non-on-the-Leafs roster contracts for defensemen i have no idea topi niemela uh-huh who i believe has not played his first full season in north america yet he just got here last yep, year yep miko kokinen and william villeneuve so we're an injury away from most likely miko kokinen being in the lineup right mm -hmm. no not yet um and last year how many defensemen did they use like it was a double million. digits. It was yeah. like Philip Crawl, Mac Hollowell, Victor Magic. They, I think they got up to 12. Jordy Ben. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a lot of guys, right? So William Lagason, they straight up need more D. Uh, they got one. He had the best year of his professional career last year um, as a defenseman on the Chicago Wolves in 65 games. He had 10 goals, um, 22 assists and 32 points. And it's hard to believe that he had 10 goals in 65 games because he's played 60 NHL games. Zero goals. I got a question for you. Guys. I want him to score his first year. So Lag noted first goal. Yeah, Lagason. Uh, Lagason signs with the Leafs. Uh, by the way, another Alan Walsh client, Jonathan Drouin, to the Colorado Avalanche. Good, good project there. Maybe he regains some form and uh, provides them some depth scoring, and he he for sure has wheels. My question to you is, guys, we're pushing five o'clock on July first. What do you give uh, Brad Treliving out of ten? Oof. Uh. 2.5 what two over five? four years <laughs> yeah like, yeah like you look at you look at the contracts he signed comp uh Lagason and uh and Reeves and I, I'm gonna pull Lagason from this because he's a depth piece you expect Reeves to be in the lineup most nights you expect comp to be in the lineup every night he's played every one of the last 164 games in the regular season guys never hurt in, in incredible shape um if Nolachari costs you two million bucks a year for three years, why is he not a leave? I, I can only assume either he didn't want to be here or Bradshaw Living is not that good at this. 
Okay. <laughs> Dude, Nola Chari well, what, was absolutely what, fantastic. What do you what think? What we've this? heard a couple of times is that the William Nylander extension has been holding thing up, things up because they've been so far apart in the number that they think Willie should get uh, versus what his camp wants that they're really unsure about how to move forward with the cap situation. So I because have, oh, what's sorry, coming down from the top down is that you should bring back all four and you should sign them all long term. And if they're in negotiations to do that and they can't get it done, things are kind of backlogged. So my suggestion is if William Nylander's number is holding holding you up, um, worry about it later. July 1st is today. And as much as... You can go over the cap. Yeah, as much as I want William Nylander to be a Toronto Maple Leaf, that might be a contract that doesn't get signed till November. Right, but they were trying to get it done pre this date, so a lot of their oxygen has been taken up with that contract because of the con of the no movement clauses that kicked in today. Right, is that an excuse? So now that is that, is that okay? Now that this deadline has passed, maybe there's a little bit more room for the bigger Leafs deals to trickle in as the hours and days move on from July first. I uh, I don't want to be salty. Um, we're all huge William Nylander fans on this podcast. I have absolutely no interest in double digit Willie. I have no interest in a management group that makes excuses that, oh, we couldn't get William Nylander locked up, so we were unprepared for July. Tried 1st. nothing and we're all out of I know. Ideas. Apparently they're they're working on Max Domi. Might be. Might be pitching Tyler Bertuzzi. I'm working on being less than two hundred pounds. Get on it. <laughs> I, I was that how's that journey going? I like that. Not great. It's going about <laughs> as well as the Leafs journey. Okay. <laughs> that's not true. I think I'd be comfortable at 250. All right, guys. Oh, it's good. getting a little bit late in the afternoon on July 1st. The Leafs have not done much of consequence. We'll continue to follow it. So keep checking.